Well, good morning, everybody. Today we're going to be talking about the relationships that occur with all the parties in agency practice. In an agency, we have, as you would have already read, a principle. A principle, the term principle simply refers to someone who is the owner of a business entity. And in this situation, the principal would own the agency. They may also be the licensee. Now, as we've discussed in the text, the interesting thing about real estate is that we sell something that we don't own, which is, and the product is, the property itself. And we can either sell or lease this. Now, to do that, we must engage a client. Now, being a client has a particular role in agency practice because it is the client who pays us. That's a very important thing. And as a result of that, we have a very specific relationship with the client. We have what's called a fiduciary obligation to them. And the fiduciary obligation to the client is to put their interests above all others, including ourselves. As a result of that, we may also use the same term of principle for our client because they actually also own a business and this business is actually the property entity itself which they may be selling or leasing through the agency. If they are selling, they may be known as the vendor or the seller. If they are leasing, they may be known as the landlord or the lessor. Now, also another party in an agency relationship is the customer. And the customer has a slightly different relationship with the principal of an agency because, yes, we also have a special relationship with them, but it is not a fiduciary one because they don't pay us. But they certainly receive a service from us on behalf of our clients. As a result of that, we also have a general duty of care to show to them and that is enshrined in numerous pieces of legislation being the Competition and Consumer Act and the Agents Act. So they may be the customer, may be known also as the buyer and if it's in a leasing situation they may also be known as the tenant. Now real estate is a Real estate agents deal with an enormous amount of money and some quite intricate legal transactions. And our laws require us, especially the Agents Act, that in order for us to act on our client's behalf, that we must have a contract with them. We are not allowed to take instructions or uh, perform any activities unless we have what's known as a listing agreement. This agreement is a contract between the client, principal or vendor, and the agency. It outlines the rights and obligations of each party in listing a property for sale. If it's a property that's going to be managed for lease between the landlord or lessor and the agency, it is known as his instructions to act as managing agent. These, it is critical by law that these are agreed and signed documents of which both parties must hold a copy that outline the rights and obligations and we can do nothing until this contract is in place. It also enshrines the obligation for fiduciary care. Now as a result of having these listing agreements there's two other contracts that we really want to engage. The first one is a sales contract. And the sales agreement is the one that we're after between the buyer and the vendor because that means that we get paid on, on exchange of a contract. 
Also, the contract that we're also hoping to engage is between the tenant, the tenancy agreement, and the landlord, which we draw and um, activate on behalf of our landlord or lessor. So as you can see today, we can often use quite different terminology for the same person. The agency, on behalf of the principal, will engage a client through a listing agreement. That client may be also termed as a principal because they're owner of an entity. They may also be referred to as a vendor or a seller or a landlord or a lessor. As a result of that, we want to, to engage customers who are either buyers or tenants. The buyer will engage a sales contract between themselves and the vendor, and the tenant will engage a tenancy agreement between themselves and the landlord or lessor. This is all done through agency activity. Thank you.